15 seconds to resume the count. 10 seconds. Another minute we'll be terminating the liquid oxygen replenish and starting the lock strain back. steering check before main engine ignition. Flight controls have also been checked out. T minus two minutes, two minutes to launch at Atlantis with the Columbus Laboratory. 15 seconds, Great safety systems are. Sound suppression system water activated. D minus 10, 9, 8, go for main engine start. 7, 6, main engine ignition. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. Houston now control line. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Columbus weighs anchor from its port in Florida. Atlantis on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Saturday. 28 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Atlantis three miles in altitude, seven miles downrange. 50 seconds into the flight, the engine's beginning to throttle back up, standing by for that call from Capcom Jim Dutton. Atlantis, go and throttle up. Atlantis copies, go and throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Frick, joined on the flight deck by Pilot Allen Poindexter, Rex Walheim, and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid-deck are Stan Love and Hans Schlegel and Leopold Ayarts of the European Space Agency. Ayarts hitching a ride to his new home on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already 15 miles in altitude, 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 2,000 miles an hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three auxiliary power units, all functioning normally. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms Good solid rocket booster separation, good staging. Guidance now converging, the onboard computers commanding the main engines to swivel, aiming Atlantis for its precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff. And the propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Atlantis with that extra burst of power for the next two minutes, assisting the shuttle and its crew on their climb to orbit. Two minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis 41 miles in altitude. Negative return. And the environmental systems officer in mission control reports a good flash evaporator system providing cooling for Atlantis's avionics until the time we open the payload bay doors an hour and a half into the flight. Atlantis, press to ATO. Press to ATO. That call indicating should we lose an engine, we can make our minimal orbital cutoff targets. However, all three main engines continue to perform normally. 
three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Five and a half minutes into the flight. Atlantis, 8,000 miles an hour in its velocity, 67 miles in altitude, 310 Booster miles operation operation confirmed. Okay. Main engine cutoff, now stand by for the commands for external tank separation. Atlantis, new action on the cabin, DPDT is the deucer.